Big Daddy Carlos, coming at you live. And now Triple B presents Entertainment for the Big Kids. Hi, my name is Dan Johnson, and I'm with Three Square Food Bank. We are part of the Feeding America Network, and we are the only food bank in Southern Nevada. Over 447,000 of our neighbors are food insecure. One in three children are living in food insecure homes. Food insecurity is when you just don't know where your next meal is gonna come from. Thanks to Big Daddy, Ava, and all the folks that have donated, we were able to provide over 3,000 meals to the folks that need help. I just wanted to say thank you for joining us in the fight against hunger, because together, we can feed everyone. And there was only one place we could bring that energy and that creative experience to Las Vegas, and that was downtown. Downtown was open and ripe for it and ready because downtown is where it all started. Hey everybody, welcome to Wednesday Night Live and your Sin City Spotlight. I'm gonna appeal to your alt-rock soul tonight. Let me tell you something. I just met these guys and oh my gosh, we're best friends already. Let me introduce you to the band so they can quickly become your best friends. Hello guys. Hey. Now I'm sitting here with the full band of Leather Bound Crips. And uh, we've got Jabba, yep. Remy, Ryan and Ricky yep. all in the house. Looking and remembering all the R's. Welcome guys, how are you? Great. We're great. Let's start with, uh, you know, can you describe your sound in a more detailed manner other than me just simply blanket statement, alt rock. Right. Um, well, the alt rock, um, is pretty blanketing and honestly really confusing nowadays as well because so much is thrown underneath that bus and thought-provoking, issue oriented <laughs> Vegas rock. Yes. There you go. Yes, Remy oh, coming like... in with the deepness. <laughs> so Jabba, you are the lead vocalist and uh, you do the rhythm. You play the rhythm guitar as well. Yeah. Um, what got you into music? I've always been a musician. Uh, I actually started playing music uh, in orchestra. It was an orca dork. I played stand-up bass. Orca dork. Yeah, and uh, I blasted an orchestra, man. We did all these competitions. I was, you know what I mean, like first chair, like, and then uh, my mom got me a bass guitar, and then like, before I knew it, when I was 19, I was listening to like Dallas Green, or Bright Eyes or something, and I was like, I bet I could play this. And just where I happened to be working at, they had an acoustic guitar, and then I just picked it up and was like, slowly started figuring it out at that point. The music was always a part of your life. Yeah, yeah. I think that's been the, the theme amongst all the bands that I've talked to. That's, really? That's pretty, it's pretty amazing that music seems to be a fixture in your life for the whole time. I actually, who's the newest member in this that's ensemble? Mike, Rick, hey, Mr. Okay. Ricky. Hi, hi, hi. Ricky. Hello, everyone. And uh, tell us your position in the band. Uh, I'm, I'm the drummer. They let me play the drums. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when did you happy. join Leatherbound Crest? Uh, it would have been, uh, I think we're going about a year. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, uh, like a little anniversary? A little anniversary. <laughs> so we haven't been able to play much, which is why we're so excited about next week's show. I'm born and raised in Las Vegas. Grew up on Bon Jovi and Van Halen. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Good good opportunity to say rest in peace for sure. But yeah, that was me. Grew up in Las Vegas, went to high school here, did all that good stuff, and uh, turned around, now I teach high school. So. My story's not as cool as Ryan's, so I'm not a school teacher. <laughs> I'm also a transplant, you know. Um, I'm from California. Ricky's from California. Me and Ricky have been playing in bands together for over 10 years. Oh, wow. We were on a label together. Uh, we've been on TV together, Fuse TV together, in a band. Like, uh, we have a long history. I really love Vegas, but um, I've also been playing music my whole life. Um, I, was, I played the trumpet in school. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Staring in you down. concert bands, <laughs> I played the trumpet. Um, and that's, <laughs> that's what really got me into music. But I remember uh, I, I found a gu two guitars in my complex dumpster. And that's how I started getting into string instruments. And I remember that the six string guitar was missing two strings. And I think that's why I play the four string bass. 
is because I learned on a four string. <laughs> That's why I was such a trash <laughs> uh, musician, exactly. Ryan nailed it. But uh, yeah, you know, um, I've been in Vegas since like 2012. Um, and it's been a crazy experience. Vegas is definitely a cool vibe. I love being here. I'm fortunate enough to, you know, surround myself with great people. As I begin making it all fall in This is Dizzy Reed from Guns N' Roses, and I'm Nadia. And we are Hookers and Blow. Join us this weekend for our live stream jam session coming to you straight from the heart of Sin City, Las Vegas. What time? Tune in at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tickets are available now. Hi, this is Jimmy J, one of the Las Vegas premier producers. Make sure you join us Saturday, November 14th, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Time. That's 6 p.m. Las Vegas Time. We got a special, special night coming with a ton of BET, HBO, Comic View comedians with a special performance by the sensational Miss Kiki Wyatt. You don't want to miss this one. Make sure you keep it locked right here. For tickets, more information, log on to runnationlive.com. That's runnationlive.com, all right? Make sure you keep it locked, though. We got a ton of great events and concerts coming right here at Triple B TV Network. Did you hear me? Triple B TV Network. Keep it locked, all right? God bless. Stay safe. Let's dive into uh, your creative process as a, as a four-piece band. How does that look? That looks um, pretty ugly, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep it real. Uh, you know, I mean, and not as far as like frustration or anger or arguments or, you know, um, you know, and admittance or... Uh, uh, any type of conflict between us or nothing like that, but um, you know, it's four different lives, you know, for one focus and vision. And to move that forward takes, you know, a triumphant amount of just dedication and, you know, courage and just like a want. And, uh, you know, every single time we write a song, you know, whether I write it or Remy writes it or Ryan writes it, you know, um, you know, we try to give that much heart as well, but I'm not saying that, you know what I mean, it's easy. Um, do you guys start with the vocals, do you start with the hook, Where it, does it change every single song? It kind of does, you know, inspiration comes from many places and sometimes something um, epic will happen, you know, in someone's life, and it, in someone's life, in the band, and they'll come to us and say, hey, I got this song that means a lot to me, and we'll build off that. Sometimes it's Jabba, sometimes it's Ryan, sometimes it's me. Uh, but the process always changes. It, but the one thing that remains true is that we all work together and that we respect each other's artistic integrity as well as, um, you know, uh, just opinions overall when it comes to um, composition. Yeah, it's really interesting hearing what songs sound like before they get brought to the table and then when they get brought to band practice, right? Like Juwan was saying, we all have our different filters and stuff like that. So the song that Jabba brings to the table and what Leatherbound Crooks ended up, you know, creating is night and day, night and day, but it's a beautiful it thing. Yeah, for sure. Because I think like as an individual artist, it's hard to get something out. That's why we're in bands to collaborate with other, you know, artists. It makes it more enjoyable. And we say, yo, it's ready. Let's, let's release it. Let's get it done. I did Facebook stalk you just a little bit, just a little bit, and uh, I saw some of your influences, Kings of Leon, Bright Eyes, Counting Crows. Yeah. I heard influences on Kings of Leon, Bright Eyes, and I was, I went Counting Crows. I'm curious how that influenced, how the Counting Crows influenced you. 
Uh, it's the writing style. Ah. You know what I mean? He tells stories, you know, and uh, his writing style is, it's not hooky, it's just familiar, you know, like, and I don't know how to explain it, but um, I've been told time and time again that, you know, that is uh, one of the key components necessarily to what makes our sound. And, you know, I've always been an avid fan of Counting Crows, but I, you know, you don't really realize something until you try and listen for it. go into the point of the story right now. I want to know a lot more about Leatherbound Crooks. How'd you get your start? How'd you guys meet? How'd you form the band? Take it away. Man, uh, yeah. we, uh, well, I started the band. Um, 2011? Yeah, in 2011. Um, and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. It was my first band that, you know, I don't know, I actually cared about. I played bass in this band called like Seventh Place. It's like this trash indie band. And we like glorify the fact that we were trash, but um anyways, uh yeah, so <laughs> but um uh yeah, started the band, uh fast forward, you know, nine years later and um I've got myself the dopest crew ever. Um, it was intense and, um, you know, it was a series of casual changes here and there. And, uh, it was, uh, I want to say a bit of a struggle, but there's a few prominent people that actually kept me going. Um, aside from those who like I care about, but have truly cared about me and showed interest in it. Um, I met Pat in 2012, Pat Hunley is our engineer and um he kind of gave me that like good push we were at the beach hut deli with a few people in the band ryan was there it was our first show that we had played and i had two other members that were brand new as well that was the only show that we had played together ryan was the only person that stuck with me after that night and that completely sealed our friendship and necessarily just our vibe remy uh we were, ironically enough, here at uh, Backstage Bar and Billiards. We were at Backstage Bar and Billiards. We saw Shallow Like Me, and then Red Jeff's Suit Apparatus came on. And then our friend Adam, our mutual friend, at the time, I was friends with Adam, who was in Shallow Like Me, and so was Jabba. But me and Jabba didn't know each other. And he said, hey, we're going to go to the El Cortez across the street. we got a hotel room. And we talked, and he's like, oh, I'm a musician. I was like, oh, cool, me too. Yeah. He's like, I'm actually looking for a bass player. I was like, I play bass. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so that's how we met. It was right here at Triple B's. Well, that leads you up to today's day and age. Right. And you guys haven't been able to gig as right. nobody has. Right. And uh, 
you're bringing your music worldwide right here on Triple B TV Network. And uh, tell me your thoughts on that, being able to bring your music to the world in one big shot. And you know, I gotta, I gotta go with the first feeling that this gives me is that the song we have, Now Is The Time, is so poignant in that now is the time for, now is the time, number one, I've heard that phrase, like said, everywhere, uh, because so many things are going on, and this is a, a point of this. So the fact that we can deliver this and get it to the world, like now is the time for this song. Like now is the time for now is the time. <laughs> Literally. So we, uh, we're we gonna have you guys playing live right here on this very stage, right yes. here on this very stage, pumped, Super pumped. to each so and every excited. person out there that decides to tune in, which I'm sure is gonna be huge. Leatherbound Crooks. Thank you. Sin City Spotlight, Chaotic Kim. And the amazing thing about Fremont Country Club Backstage Bar is that we book from A to Z. Ultimately, we book what we want to see. No one does that because no one cares. We care. Hi, my name is Dan Johnson, and I'm with Three Square Food Bank. We are part of the Feeding America Network and we are the only food bank in Southern Nevada. Right now, over 447,000 of our neighbors are food insecure. One in three children are living in food insecure homes. Food insecurity is when you just don't know where your next meal is gonna come from. Thanks to Big Daddy, Ava, and all the folks that have donated, we were able to provide over 3,000 meals to the folks that need help. I just wanted to say thank you for joining us in the fight against hunger, because together, we can feed everyone. This is Big Daddy Carlos coming at you live. And now Triple B presents Rock and Roll for the Big Kids.
Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the world premiere video seen here only on Triple B TV, rock and roll for the big kids. And now, back to Las Vegas' best, the leather-bound crooks. This song is called Not You.
Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. We want to give a shout out to Triple B TV, Artists for Artists, uh, Free Square Feet, and those freaking kids, man. Thank goodness. Uh, we got this new or next song for you. It's called Sunny Boy. joined us. So we're so happy that you guys are freaking here with us. So if you know the words, just chant along with us. It's called You Are The One, and it's about you being the one. Give it up for Ryan Severn over there on guitar, on lead guitar over there. I firmly believe that the longer your dreads are, the better you get a guitar. <laughs> and again, big shout out to Triple B's, Three Square, and Artist Party. Bye. 
Uh, so this next one's from our uh, our uh, EP Four Corners, which we have some more left over from that release tonight. You guys can all go home alone. We're actually gonna give every one of you guys in the building uh, a free copy of that tonight. But you better buy a shirt or something. Yeah, yeah, buy a shirt or something, man. We're independent artists.
Thanks, guys. Thank Dude, this guys. is so fun. <laughs> How fun is this? You know what I mean? Like, this hasn't existed for a while, dude. I'm just so excited to freaking be here with you guys, man. All right. All right. I was like, what? All right, so we got a little bit of a technical difficulty. So while we're doing dealing with this real quick, this is live, people. This is how it happens. Rock and roll. You know what I mean? You just got to make it happen. We had some audio issues earlier, but we're still here. It's not going to stop us. You know what I'm saying? Make some noise, leather bound crooks. Yeah. Uh, also, I'll take this opportunity. Live rock and roll, baby. To, um, yeah, live rock and roll. I'll take this opportunity to uh, remind you guys of our <laughs> Jesus. Well, I didn't even know that was possible, that scream. That's feedback. Okay. Someone's really excited. Uh, no, so we have uh, uh, our new album. It's called Breach. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Woo. Um, so make sure you check rock it out. and roll. Yeah, dude. This is what happens. You know what I mean? So it's like you're here at the venue. <laughs> So be sure to go and check out. We have like five music videos. That I think six, how many have we done? Is it five or six off of this album? We've done like five or six uh, music videos off of Breach. And our newest one just dropped yesterday. You guys just saw it. Um, but please check it out. It's on all streaming platforms. We worked really hard on it. Um, you know what I mean? Um, we had several member changes throughout it. You know, there's three different drummers on this piece, or excuse me, there's two different drummers on this piece, and Ricky is the newest member on the drums of Leatherbound Crooks. Hey, Ricky Sterling. And uh, what do you guys think? You think he's doing a great job? Yeah, yeah, I think he is too. So um, yeah, thanks you guys. Uh, again, thanks to the Triple Bs for having us. We're fucking having a great time here with you guys tonight. This song is called Burning Bridges Like I've Walked on Water. Think about that for a minute. And for short, it's Bibbly Wow.
Thank you. LBC, yeah, thank you guys. LBC and the LV. By the way, our uh, hashtag is LBCLV. So as you're taking pictures tonight, that's our tag. Oh, I'm out of breath. This is great. I freaking love it. We are on stage. <laughs> so this next one, it's called uh, On My Way. Off our new album, Breach. Please check it out, pick it out, download it. We got two more for you. We got two more for you. This next song's called uh, Now Is The Time. We got a music video for that. Powerful, powerful message. Yeah, now it's our, is the time. Before this music video, that was the- I Hope you're registered to vote. Right Mail your ballots. Yeah, vote, guys. Need to vote. Uh, speaking of voting, can we get another vote for Ricky, our newest member of Leatherbound Crooks? Thanks, guys. Man, I can't believe it's over already. All right. It's not over yet. We got two songs. Oh, yeah. And now is the time for now is the time. That's a quote from Ricky Sterling. If you didn't see the interview, it's in there. Now is the time for now is the time. Say 
Thank you guys. Okay guys, we are, this is our last song. We're so upset about that. <laughs> Big shout out to Three Square and also Artist, artist for Artists. Triple B TV. Triple B TV. Thank you guys so much for giving us For freaking having us. Thank you guys. Out here, man. And to each and every one of you, you for being like here I said, too. we're gonna give you all a copy of our last EP tonight, all for free. Hope you have a CD player. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then um, it's going to be sad to go, but this is the last song. And it's, uh, what's it called? Long Little. It's the music video you guys saw earlier. So here's a live version.
Make some noise. Can't change what I've seen today. Plan on breathing, not breathing, cause it's okay. If you'd seen who I was before, holding doors ain't no choice. Guys. Thank you, Triple B's. Thank you, Three Square. Right 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 you you. We'll here. see you next time. We'll see you guys soon. Check Leather out our album, Breach. Truck. It's freaking everywhere. All streaming platforms. Rock and roll Hi, Mom. for the big kids. Hi, Mom. <laughs> you saw it here, Triple B TV. We'll see you this Saturday night with Disney and the Boys. Alex, a tribute to Frankie Minnelli, Hookers and Blow, the late great Eddie Van Halen, free to the world this Saturday. Rock and roll for the big kids. Viva La Rock and Roll, Triple B Network. Make some noise.